Hi everyone, it's Daniel and it's my turn. You might have heard of athletes, but have you heard of the math athletes? The International Math Olympiad hosts competitors from over a hundred countries every year. China has been in the top three for 30 consecutive years. Today we're gonna go and find out if the ordinary Chinese people are as good at math as some think they are. And we're gonna make our foreign friends compete with them. It's gonna be very fun, let's go and see. A lot of the Chinese people I knew were good at math. They study hard, they're really hard working, uh -huh. uh, and they don't complain. Uh -huh. So it's, it's usually really good compliments actually uh -huh. towards Chinese people. Yeah, I've seen Chinese people doing math and they're super quick at it, so I'm gonna say good. Like, quite good, yeah. They will just like, you, no one will ever use a calculator. If yeah. they don't have a machine, they'll just be like, like if you're at a tai shi, uh -huh. or like, uh, like any sort of market, yeah. like they'll just, go like this and add it all up together. Or if you're in like a restaurant, they'll add it up. When you go to the bar, they have the dice game with the four dice, I think. And uh, you gotta, you have to say, you know, who has the number. They, they really love playing that game. Uh, I think they usually are involved with drinking. Uh -huh. okay. From what I can see, okay. like, yeah. uh, what is it? Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, you win. I win. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Ah, you lose. Oh, is it not just multiples of seven? It's also, the numbers that have seven. Ah. In them. So ah. in them. How confident are you in yourself? Like from one to ten. I think I'm like a five. I mean, I'm pretty good at math. I, I haven't gotten into many situations with math, but I know some some games and it's really quick thinking. Have you ever heard of the game called 24? No. I've heard of it. Have some sort of structure into how, you, how you're thinking about it. We're holding a small international Chengdu Plus 24 championship from the U.S. From the <laughs> Shout out Mrs. McKay. Shout out my dad for Mrs. teaching McKay's. me math. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, shout out all of them. <laughs> all my teachers, K through 12. Okay. Show us the cards, tell us what, what happened, what, what did you do? Okay, so... I <laughs> shot! Really? 4 Like this. Uh huh, uh huh. You got a solution. 8 times 3, 24. 10 minus 10. Yay! And I'm the master. 3乘和9乘起来的27,27,然后减掉4等于23,再加1等于24。可以了。Wow,也可以了。But, Kavi was faster today. <laughs> really love giving myself a headache. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Um, it, I mean, challenges makes us stronger, right? I guess. I guess. I guess. As you can see, games with numbers are very popular in China and if you want to be king at any party, you better learn how to divide, uh, multiply, subtract and add numbers. Um, can Super Daniel solve this problem? Let's see. Oh, uh, thank you, Shai Shai. <laughs> oh, alright, alright, let me choose. I'm gonna pick four cards from the deck. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, Thirteen, two, six and twelve. Easy. 13 multiplied by 2, 26. 
12 divided by 6, 2. 26 minus 2, 24. Super Daniel, the champion of 24. It was Daniel, your turn, and bye-bye.